Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to the keynote and for our first ever field test. So a little bit about these uh, field tests. It's basically taking a product in question, aka on this one, the Razer Kishi, and we're going to take it to the paces of uh, specific scenarios out here of um, different places, different conditions, uh, just to see exactly how things affect the product. Well, in, in particularly this one is going to be the Razer Kishi and uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass and Parsec. And we're gonna test it under very conditions uh, to see uh, what the performance actually looks like um, in connection tests, in reliability, in playability. And we're actually at our first environment right now. So this is actually uh, Starbucks. <laughs> so as you can see back there, uh, there's the Starbucks. So we're gonna run a couple tests here. Um, we're gonna go to another establishment, probably Best Buy. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do the on-camera test there um, just yet. More likely I might do a screen recording on the actual phone itself while I'm inside the Best Buy network, which might be pretty interesting because all the all those processes are going to be running off of the phone. So the screen recording, the stream, the game streaming, uh, I, I guess we'll either test through the, the, um, the cell phone radio and their Wi-Fi network to see exactly how things are affected over time. Uh, with gameplay both on Parsec and Xbox Game Pass. Um, but first, we're going to do Starbucks. And I want to do an outside test somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure because, you know, a uh, thing that should not be mentioned, aka human malware, is out there, so not many places open. And, you know, Florida is kind of dumb, so I, maybe parks are open right now, but I'm not going to chance it because, you know, I'm a reasonably thinking person. I would like to think so. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, and yeah, oh, masks up, etc. Anyway, so we're, first test, we're going to test Starbucks. We're going to test in there. We're in my car right now. So essentially somewhat considered a Faraday cage um, with all the metal and everything like that con and considered. So we're going to test in the parking lot, hooked up to the Starbucks network. We're going to test Xbox Game Pass first. Then we're going to do Parsec um, second. And then we're going to disconnect. Uh, we'll be in the same parking lot, but we'll do it over mobile. Uh, just a FYI, I actually discovered this yesterday, that um, uh, specifically with mobile networks, it can interfere with audio uh, signals on cameras. So we might get a little noise on here on that camera feed because of the mobile network radio. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm at a fair distance away from the phone, from the camera, that you guys don't get that uh that buzz and that noise but you know whatever we'll see what happens but anyway let's uh, let's go ahead and get started with the test all right first things first we got to run a speed test here we're, right now we're on uh, Starbucks Wi-Fi I have I don't know if you can really see some of the bars here but it's like right in the middle uh, granted of course that's to be expected since we're so far away from the initial access point anyway so let's see exactly what uh well, let's turn it this way let's see exactly what speeds we're actually getting here Ooh. <laughs> huh. For being in the parking lot, not bad. And in my car, also not bad. So we're looking at 27.5 megabits a second down. And 8.61 megabits a second up. So that's that's actually not bad. I guess the first thing we'll do, we'll let's let's go ahead and start Xbox Game Pass. I already have it loaded. Uh, okay, first game that I usually like to test. Well, as you can see, I'm I got movement and everything like that, so everything's all fine here. So first game I usually like to test is Streets of Rage 4. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, okay. So also to note that the uh, right now sound is actually coming out through Bluetooth onto my car speakers right now, so. Notably, there is a delay in sound. I actually can hear it right now. A little bit of sound delay. But response right now, still pretty fine. Cherry Hunter. All right, let's go with my girl, Cherry. A little slower than my, than my local copy, but okay. So, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll probably adjust the exposure a little bit in post. Right now, pretty good. I am getting some micro stutter though, in some of the graphics. I heard some in the in the audio as well. 
but gameplay wise, it's still performing really well. Oops. Just did a recovery. Still very play very playable. So as the radio signal improves, so does my experience. And it feels almost one to one right now. Okay. Alright, so let's actually pull you in a little bit closer so you can see my finger. Uh, right there. Okay, so look. So small, my, small delay, but not super, super bad. Honestly, with some of these delays, let's come over here into the lights so you can see a little bit better. You start to adapt after a little while. It is there. No question, as you know, that's how distance in the internet works. But it's very, very, very well managed. Okay. All right, so that's on Starbucks's network over Microsoft Game Pass. Let's move over. Let's move over to Parsec. With certain networks, with, with uh, certain networks, dialing in to uh, to Parsec might be problematic. However, I believe with the Starbucks network, I should be able to get in there straight so I don't have to go through my VPN. So as, so I do have two VPNs that I can utilize. I have private internet access, great VPN ac uh, service, not sponsored, would love to be sponsored, but whatever. <laughs> um, I do have private internet access and I also have my own pri uh, uh, private VPN ser um, server that I spun up on a virtual machine on OpenVPN. So we can utilize both. Um, but for the majority of users, more than likely, uh, we'll use something like private internet access and test the connection speeds there. So let's reload this. Pick up. So let's see. Yep, I'm dialed into my computer at home now. So let's go ahead and load. Uh, let's actually okay this because apparently I had some updates on my computer. Uh, let's load Play Night. Okay. Now, the uh, Parsec app is actually still in beta, uh, or alpha, one of them. Uh, it, but uh, on the Play Store, it still has a pre-release. They still got some things they got to fix with it, like uh, mouse interaction is considerably not really the best right now. But uh, I'm pretty sure they'll fix that over time. So let's load in uh, Streets of Rage 4 again. Again, we're still on the Starbucks network in the parking lot. As you can see, it loaded way faster. All right, so let's go. Uh, sure. And we're actually on police precinct on this one. The other one was uh, the streets. I'm getting 60 frames per second. I can tell from that little that little scroll. Still really good. Oh, nice combo. No stutter delay. All right, so let's pull you in a little bit. Oh, now I got some stutter just when I did that. So I'm probably getting some interference now. But, okay, so here. So about the same. About the same, admittedly. I gotta stop playing before I start having too much fun. <laughs> right. Let's beat him up. All right. All right. So that's on the uh, that's on the Starbucks network in the car. So as you can see, it performs really, 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 well, really well. Um. Okay. So let's actually move over. Let's move over to Ori. So with this one, usually you can tell from this initial... I like starting here because there's a lot of stuff that actually happens here. Um, but if you can see, Ori is extremely small in this one. So if you can see a little bit and if you can see my finger on the right-hand side. Yeah, right there. 
you can see the movement. And if I come back a little bit, yeah. Yeah, at least here, Ori is a lot smaller. Um, in the big one, and uh, sorry, in Will of the Wisps, it made him a little bit bigger. And also, the moveset is a lot more dynamic. And I'm just dying. <laughs> I like that. My life survived. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over a little bit over here. Oop. So, you're not supposed to go this way yet. Because <laughs> um, there's like one hit kill enemies, but it's still a nice little test of seeing their initial response since this is a platformer. If, if you can make some of these elements, which I kind of missed that one because I missed the jump a little bit. I missed some specific timing portions. About to die there. Oh! Got a little stutter there. Okay, so what are we looking at? We just dropped a little bit in wireless performance, that's all. All right, so let's actually push up just a little bit right there. Okay. And we lived. Yay! All right. So, can I make this jump? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. And I just made it twice and three times. So, not the most, oh wait, hold on, there's actually a place over here where you gotta kind of be time specific. Let me see if I can do it a couple times under, under these conditions. Alright, so let's go over here. Alright, hold on, there's this thing. If he hits me, I die instantly. So, jump, jump, jump. So, I'm doing this mainly just to show that this connection and this controller is not getting in the way of my response. So right now you can see I'm actually, I am actually getting some frame stutter a little bit. But again, I'm in the parking lot. So as you can see, I'm, a, I'm still surviving this, dude. I will survive. And let me die. There you go. <laughs> so, very capable of doing platformers. Alright, so let's move over to Master Chief Collection now. Firefight. This sector is your number one priority. All right, I need to get cast. All right. Oh, and I forgot that's the uh, grenade last But run is X apparently. Okay. And as you can see, I don't know, I don't have to play for real. It actually, I was getting a, a lot of um of 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 um screen noise before but right now probably because I'm on this Wi-Fi I'm not getting any screen noise at all and it feels really good okay where do they usually start over here like I said I'm gonna suck terribly right now Oh, you saw that. That happened. <laughs> and I died. <laughs> terrible, 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 terrible. Alright, but you did see that small stutter. I probably had a couple lag there, but... Alright, but as you can see, that's what you're dealing with there. So, not the best condition as far as like competitive shooting, but... Capable if you're doing, cat, if you're doing like single player. So that's something that could be improved. Oop, I got a headshot. And again, it's Halo. <laughs> but the more... The thing is, though, with some of these micro, stu um, micro delays and stutters, platforms like this, you learn... The, the human mind and I guess the human body is actually just interesting because you kind of learn to adapt to some of it. Like, you, you, you start to subconsciously compensate for some of the inconsistencies to the point where now you're actually able to like there's a there's a point that you really start to not to really tune out some of the stuff and just you know just deal with it so like if I was more polished yeah totally could see myself actually playing this a lot better but I'm not polished at all well I did get a killing spree and a triple kill Oh yeah, melee button. 
And I'm gonna die. I did that needlessly. Okay, anyway. So, that's, uh, that's Halo over Parsec. So, let's actually move that over to... Uh, let's move over to Xbox Game Pass. Alright, so now Xbox Game Pass, I believe with them, they do something a little different as far as, like, to keep frame rates consistent. That, um... They'll scale. You'll, they'll scale your resolution uh, down, so you'll start to see a lot of blocking and stuff like that if it can't keep up with the resolution, just to make sure that it keeps the constant frame rate. So it's 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 pretty good and it's pretty efficient on how it actually does it. And it does its thing, even though it doesn't look as pretty at times. Um, like I saw that a, a lot on Halo. Um, right now, I didn't see that much on Halo on over Parsec. Uh, but mainly for both, it's probably going to perform around the same as far as like visual qual quality and fidelity. Fide fide sorry, I can't English. Fidelity, <laughs> uh, because I'm on a Wi-Fi based network. Something that like a mobile based network is probably going to have a lot more interference. So we're going to definitely test that in a second. Then we'll move over to our next network after I get gas. <laughs> Dig in and defend this area, Spartan. Alright, so. Set, start. We're off the bat. I got a little jutter. And I got I got blocking right that's going that's happening right now. I didn't see some of this blocking on the Parsec instance. But it's still very playable. I'm not entirely sure on the frame rate that I'm seeing right now though. But I, I am definitely getting a lot more blocking here. But as far as like playability. As you can see, about the same in, in, in response. Oh, did you hear some of that audio stutter? Okay, they're stuttering over here this time. And wow! <laughs> Was not expecting that. Alright, let's try it. Let's try that again. Right quick. Alright, so it looks like it cleaned up a little bit. It looks like things are starting to catch up. Okay, did they go all the way over there already? Oh, there we go. Shot. Dead shot. Dead shot. Stuttering a little bit right now, and it seems like some of the radio interference is starting to get to it now. So it looks like a lot of the far, no, far detail is starting to get a little mushy. Still discernible. I do notice though on Xbox that on Game Pass versus the Parsec one that it is there is a little bit more contrast in the vi in the visual feed. Ooh, I just got a lot of blocking just now. <laughs> All right, so that's interesting. All right, let's go just a little bit more. Uh, that's Game Pass on Halo. So you can see some of the differences there. So let's go ahead and s oh, let's exit. Let's go ahead and switch over to uh, to mobile and see what the differences there are. Same games. All right. First things first, we gotta do a speed test on my mobile network so you can see exactly what I'm working with here. I'm on AT&T. Do that with what it's, uh, do with that what you will. And, uh, wow. Alright, so we're looking at 69.3 megabits a second down. And 
then we're looking at 13.4 megabits a second up. So, yeah, better than the uh, the AT&T Starbucks Wi-Fi connection. Um, but since it's mobile, it might have it might be a little inconsistent uh, in performance. But uh, we'll see. And right now we're not actually moving around anywhere. We're in a static position. So another be a better test would actually be while the vehicle is is roaming because that's the true test in my opinion of of um mobile game streaming and mobile gaming is that if you can if you can maintain the experience across um a network that is jumping from tower to tower while you're moving uh while, while you're in motion say like if you're traveling on a long distance travel uh from here to orlando or anything like that then yeah that's when we that we've reached peak game streaming status and especially if you can maintain a, a 1080p 10, uh, 60 frames per second freaking uh freaking output which yeah we're i'm pretty sure we're not there yet <laughs> depending on the network probably not there yet for at&t or um we probably might be there for verizon yeah slight shade on at&t big whoop one fight about it <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and get into this test let's uh let's get into um x uh game pass we'll start streets of rage 4 again Make sure I got my controller synced up. Yes, we do. I love the soundtrack. Okay, here we go. All right, so. Still performing exceptionally well. I got thrown. I don't know how many people know about that recovery. If you're a classic head like me who played Streets of Rage back when he was like, I don't know, 10? Maybe, uh, maybe less? I think six, actually. I forget what Streets of Rage 2 actually came out. But yeah, you know about the up C trick. Alright, so here we are with the light, so now you can actually see a little bit. Let's go with input. And let's go with movement. And that's on my mobile network, so that's not bad at all, dude. That's not bad at all. Alright, so that's Streets of Rage. Let's go over to uh, Halo. Alright, here we go. This sector is your number one priority, soldier. Alright. So, before we move out. So, interestingly, about the same. About the same. Granted, I'm in a static position again. But then, uh, let me see what the, uh, what the detail looks like from the outside. Oh, it's actually starting. All right, getting some blocking now. So they're starting over there. Up oh, over there. Okay. Stick me. First strike. So playing pretty well. Now what what this does suck for? Basically just the bottom. What this what this does suck for though is people who do rely on audio cues because yeah you're going to have some delay. But this also might be you die right. Okay, so what this also might be, let me try something. Let's turn off Bluetooth. Let's come out through the speak the native speakers. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's see a little bit how the audio delay actually happens here. So that's a lot better. So some of that audio delay is is from the results of, um, of of the Bluetooth radio, which is unfortunate because with the Kishi, you can't plug in, you can't use your local plug for audio. So yeah, that would be a nice little improvement for the Kishi too, to actually allow some audio pass through of some sort instead of relying on Bluetooth. I should get the sniper pistol. <laughs> You guys can still see. All right, so, yeah, it feels definitely, definitely feels better. 
without using without relying on Bluetooth, but that's not really the ideal position that you want to be in. Especially if you're trying to privately game. So I would say like in some instances if you're Okay, yeah, it, it's still functioning fine. In some instances if you're if you do rely a lot on audio cues, uh, that um, especially for like competitive shooters like this, then you might not, not want to do that. <laughs> Uh, also, yeah, uh, on that small little sequence there, there wasn't really much blocking, so it was actually performing pretty well there. All right, so let's uh, let's switch over to uh, Parsec. Uh, I'm on my mobile network, so with my mobile network, it does not allow me to actually connect to my computer using my mobile network, which is unfortunate. So uh, other mobile networks might be different, but with mine, I have to go through a VPN. So let's go through uh, PIA. Alright, so I am connected through my VPN. We're going to go through Parsec now. And I should be able to connect. Oh, wait, before we do that, we have to show the speed test of the VPN connection now as it relates to my mobile network. So let's go over to speed test. Let's go ahead and start. We're connected through a VPN. Ooh. Big degradation. All right, so now we're at, we went from 65 megabits a second, now we're down to 18, near the, nearing 20 megabits a second. Let's move that message out the way. And we're, around six megabits a second but it's saying yep we, we hit it we, we hit six getting close to seven actually megabits a second up all right so big big degradation um so let's see what uh, let's see what happens there so, we go take a second all right right now we're also we have the Bluetooth turned off this time now as well. Alright. And movement feels fine. Alright, so if you can see, let's move Ori a little bit. My hand. And this. So if we were to go just a little bit over compared to Wi-Fi, that's what it can be expected. Ooh, that just exploded everywhere. There we go. I survived at least. All right, we won't go all the way to where we were before. Alright, let's try going down here right quick. I forget what's down here. And I died. <laughs> Alright. So, as you can see, that's working pretty well. Alright, let's switch over. So, performance is about the same. I am getting a little bit of... A little bit of blocking but not a lot, but I do have a little bit more delay in the control response. Still not too bad though. So we're about there now. Okay, so it's, it's, it's picking up a little bit. So now I realize again we're on my we're on my mobile LTE's network right now on, through a VPN. So still, all things considered, still performing really well and still very playable. I love this track. <laughs> Sound-wise, it feels better. 
outside Bluetooth, but it is stuttering right now a little bit. Account for that for the mobile network. Twenty hit combo. Let's see if I can get these guys real quick. So, as you can see, it's still very, very playable. Despite having a little bit more delay than Wi-Fi. And I did fine. Alright. Cool. So, I guess I'll conclude the tests for here. So, now let's move over to another network. Similar conditions, but we're actually going to go inside um, the actual establishment. I can't use this camera, specifically. So... I'm going to try to see what I can do as far as like recording on this screen directly, um, and then we'll uh, we'll see uh, about recording in an open area to see exactly how that's going to perform. Um, I got to find one though, uh, but before that, I got to go and get gas. So hold on for a second, guys. All right, so we got gas, and we are now here at Best Buy, uh, as you can see, possibly. Uh, I don't think the light will actually let you, but yeah, you can see the little Best Buy sign out there. Uh, so we are now at Best Buy, and we are going, actually going to go inside and do a test in there instead of actually doing a test inside the car and testing their Wi-Fi and um, bouncing on their Wi-Fi that way. Um, one because um, of distance, because I'm pretty sure I can't really get a reliable connection all the way out here. But B. Uh, if I go inside, I will, probably, I will definitely get more reliable um, reliable connection speed. But the reason why I'm actually here, since the situation is is kind of the same as Starbucks, um, higher density tra uh, higher density network. So there's like a lot of guest network and a lot of things going on in there. Plus they have metal ceilings inside of their facility. So we'll see how much of it that, uh, that pertains to interference and distance away from my actual server and also well. I'm already a fair distance away from the Game Pass server anyway, but from my server for Parsec, I have a, a, a larger distance that we can actually test that way. So from my Starbucks test, I was about three miles away from my server. So at this Best Buy, I'm about nine miles away from this server. So probably a more hops or whatever, whatnot that the network has to go through. So we'll see exactly what changes, what improves, what doesn't improve. Um, but um, more likely, I can't take this camera inside the store, so we're gonna do the test over uh, screen recording. So there's a lot more that my phone has to do with this test. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna record. I'm gonna cut over and cut over to the phone screen, and we'll see exactly what those tests yield. So be right back on camera, so you can see this guy right here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll be right back. Firefight. The Covenant are advancing through your sector. You need to stop them in their tracks. Set to start. Tough luck. Oh.
So just a quick video just to show where I was doing my tests on that those last uh, videos. I'm all the way in the, be in the back of the store and pretty much the game department. And all of this, including these metal framings, and you can see the metal roofing, all of this around me. I was using their network um, for the majority, but the last video, as you saw, was what my mobile performance would be inside of this environment. So you can pretty much extrapolate exactly what the performance would actually be like in that condition. So there you have it, that was the uh, the Best Buy test. Uh, only use their, their Wi-Fi on that one, because I think what we can start to see is that you can sort of start to extrapolate some of the performance based off of your up and down speeds on, on your mobile connection. Yes, the mobile connection are, aren't as consistent and as strong as Wi-Fi connections, but uh, I guess you can start to see, depending on what speeds you're getting in the specific area, uh, you can sort of start to extrapolate what the performance output is actually going to be. But what we can test, which I'm going to change out since at this point I don't think there's really a, a point of actually doing an open air test because then you have less obstruction um, in, uh, like say if you were in a field somewhere, um, less obstruction depending on how far you are from the nearest mobile um, radio towers um, in those tests. But what we can actually attempt, which will more likely be our last test, is a roaming uh, a roaming tower test so we can I'll try to set it up with the camera inside the car with me driving not looking at anything on the screens because <laughs> you know safe driving and all that and hopefully my camera does not fall over while it's in the back seat um, pointed at the screen with the blue uh, with the uh, the game synced up to Bluetooth to the car radio uh, to s we can actually, and I'm probably just going to load up, say, like Streets of Rage 4 again in one of the stages and see if we're starting to get any judder um, on both on str on screen and also in audio. So you can start to hear some of like the uh, the jumps and stutters if uh, towers are actually starting to transition over. Also in that same test, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> also in that same test, uh, more likely we're going to have to go through. Actually, I know we're going to have to go through the the, the VPN. So we're going to really severely limit our connection. Uh, we'll go through. I guess we'll go through the worst case scenario. Uh, we'll go through. Actually, you know what? Let's not go through the VPN. Let's go through. Uh, let's go through Game Pass this time, um, since that will be more likely the best case scenario of what people are more likely going to use. Uh, Parsec. If you have to go through a VPN, then there's some extra steps depending on your network. But 
in the best case scenario on the roaming test with this um, we'll go through game pass and then we'll see if we have any if we have enough time depending on which um, what uh, depending on the destination that I'm actually headed for then we'll switch over to Parsec with a VPN and we'll try to test that way so yeah you know what let's do it that way let's go let's go forward with game pass to the destination and then when we're coming back I guess if we're heading home where I actually need to get some food, um, when we're coming back or going to that destination, then we'll go through Parsec and see how the tests and how the connection speed on that roaming test. And again, this is over on AT&T, so miles may vary depending on your um, ISP or mobile carrier or whatever, whatnot. All right, so let me get set up and let's uh, head to our destination of uh, interest, which I do not know. We'll figure that out. So yeah, hold on. really struggling. Mainly looks like it's struggling in the sound department. We're at really but looking at peering a little bit over on the uh, the actual screen on the actual animation it doesn't look like that's really jumping or anything like that at all This makes for a terrible sound experience, but I don't think that really can be helped since we're on a mobile network right now. Change of plans on regards of ability to actually do so and for safety as well. Um, we're actually here at an outside mall that we actually just got. Um, I actually just got to. Um, I'm going to try doing the roaming test with the controller walking around the area. Um, so there's a couple buildings that you can go back and forth and interweave here and there. So there should be some signal degradation back and forth uh, to see how that happens. Uh, to do that, though, we're going to have to do another screen recording based uh, test as well. So I'll be off camera again uh, to give that a shot. I need a better tripod. <laughs> Because that thing was spinning everywhere when I was doing that last part of the test. But you can hear while I was driving that the sound was going in and out. Um, it would have been, I would have loved to actually be able to, tr uh, to test input during those situations. But, you know, it's only me. So uh, we're going to try, this, at least with this one, I can actually test input while I'm actually walking around as well to see exactly how things perform. We'll do this one on Parsec, though. Um, and I think we'll use Halo as well for this one. So... Uh, in this situation, the uh, server is about, uh, I guess you could say about six miles away from here. Uh, so not the farthest thing in the world. Actually, you know what? We'll go back to we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to Game Pass uh, since that will be the the, the regular uh, the regular condition that most people are actually going to be using, if anything else. Uh, so you can probably. Give or take exactly what the Parsec actual performance will be like, or we'll see. Um, I'll probably walk somewhere and do um, do Game Pass, and then walking back to the car, we'll do Parsec. We'll see what happens. We'll, you'll see it on the recording. So, anyway, let's go.
Already, soldier. Set, start, tough luck. So that about does it, I guess. Um, so I guess what we can learn from this field test is that, uh, yeah, it, providing that you're on a decent Wi-Fi connection, either one of these services are going to do you justice. Uh, Game Pass performs really well. Parsec performs really well. Obviously, I've used Parsec um, for a while now, and I've really stand by the, um, their their service deck. They're, they're really doing a really good job as well, especially if you don't want to use a paid service like Game Pass or uh, NVIDIA, uh, whatever, whatnot, or PlayStation Now, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I don't think... It, yeah, I think the NVIDIA also has a paid service or whatever, whatnot. Anyway, you get what I mean. You don't have to go into a paid streaming service to, to enjoy game streaming. You can use something like Parsec or Moonlight or whatever, whatnot. You might have other hurdles that you may need to jump, like using a VPN to get those things to work, but they do work. Um, I think the uh, but the, I think the other aspect of these tests we're also seeing how 
uh, mobile networks perform under these conditions as well. And yeah, I wish the ISPs would actually play, uh, play ball so without capping unnecessarily and arbitrarily our data and everything like that. And um, here's hoping that 5G and other uh, mobile network services are going to pick up and, and uh, increase reliability of these services. Because yeah, as you can see on some of those games, when I was doing the roaming test, you started seeing a lot of the jump, you started seeing a lot of the artifacting starting to come up. Uh, so it will work. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, or I feel like in a car environment, like if you're, like I said, traveling from here to Orlando, I'm in Florida, obviously, um, um, or doing some long distance travel that it should reasonably uh, be able to perform relatively well. Um, again, depending on your service, depending on what your current up and down rate is at, in, at the time, but it could be better, definitely. So, providing you can get to, so I guess the the conclusion is is providing you can get to a reliable, uh, a reliable, stable network of any kind, and maintain something above twenty, maybe fifteen megabit megabits a second down, then you should be okay with game streaming, uh, at least at ten eighty p anyway. And these people are trying to say that we're trying to get to four K and doing game streaming. <laughs> okay, you can believe that if you want to. Anyway, uh, so that's our first uh, ever field test under the new banner of the keynote. So I hope you guys like this. Any critiques, any uh, any uh, problems that you have seen from this testing or anything that you would have liked to see in this test, uh, please feel free to comment on in the description below. And of course, you all know how YouTube works. Uh, do the weird thumb and the bell thing, whatever have you. I will not say smash that, whatever, whatnot. Everybody does that. So I will spare you. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, I guess tune in for like the next review or whatever we're going to have on this channel. So let me know anything else that you also want to see on this channel. Again, I also do video game based remixes and covers on my other channel, KeyJHD. Uh, also, originals there as well, so, which you should totally check out. Also, in the description below. With that, I am hungry. I'm getting food. Later. <laughs>